Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Luffy Murdoch here and here today to do chapter 135 of The Promised Neverland. Um, yeah, we had a um, hiatus last week because uh, the one of the creators was ill. So yeah, that was a bit unfortunate. And I would like to thank everyone uh, for 470 views. They may not seem a lot, but to me that's quite a massive, even for a review. So thank you very much for that. Anyway, let's get into the review. So we go back to Don and Gilda and Norman. So unfortunately we don't know what's happening to um, Arrow or Ray in a minute. So they, um, and Norman basically wants Don and Gilda and the gang to go and find out where the Musica and Shinju is. And, they're just, uh, and he's just asking around for them. So basically he's saying that um, Musica, if em em and Ray don't return back in time, so um, he'll have to kill all the real worlds and nobles and Emma needs to plan the uh, bully cursed blood and Musica and Sunju are the only their only hopes so that's why they want to protect him that's pretty much that's pretty much it so he's pretty much gone back on his way where he wanted to kill um, every single last demon and he's reconsidering he does seem a bit um a bit concerned, like thinking to himself, like what to do in this certain situation. Like he's bit like he's like he forced himself to do uh, think this way. Like I think he's been with his friends, like his new buddies and that sort of thing, far too long. And he's um like obviously he had the idea the whole time that he's gonna kill every single demon, but eventually he will. Um, yeah, he will. Um, but he, he doing this, like, mean back of Emma has actually, like, created a conflict within himself. So they start making plans and all that good stuff. And basically, yeah, um, Norman has a map, which I found quite interesting. But, yeah, then we go back to Don and Gilda, and they basically say, like, Norman probably wants to kill Musica and the group, right? Like he's because like he was saying like earlier, like he wants to go around and kill them, or he wants to kill like all the demons and that sort of thing. Um. Then he just want he just, he just, um Don says he just wants Musica and Sinju to kill them, with a bait. like um like they believe they will join their side. I think they would, Tons, yeah. But yeah, then they meet up with all the um other group and gang to go out and execute this plan. And we introduced to one of these new characters who in fact have a dog and apparently she was um, protected by the demons herself and yeah she obviously had three dogs and the kids obviously haven't seen the dog before so it's a pretty key moment and yeah I just found her while like attacking the base or whatever and apparently she can understand like demon language she can't understand what um you know what uh like English or anything like that. So yeah. So it's like it's like um reminds me of um some of re what's actually recently, um Fire Evergarden, um where um they found her and they used her for war like war and sort of thing. So I must take inspiration from that. I do apologize by the burps, very unprofessional. So yeah, and yeah, and she hates demons, apparently. She doesn't look like the worst, um... Most, uh, like, I don't know, she doesn't look the most healthiest sort of person. But she looks quite muscular at the same time, though. But, yeah. Anyway, they, um, all head off. Um, and they want to, basically, one of the kids and, the, um, Don and Gilda want to protect everyone, um, by doing this mission. Anyway, so... The, re and the main reason you probably hear, or maybe well, you read probably with Seven Nines anyway, but the main reason you hear is we have Emma, Ray, don't worry, leave things to us. Then we cut, we cut back to Ray, and we see his boots, then the baby, obviously, and it's Ray holding the baby, and it's obviously Ray holding Emma. So, ooh, oh no. So, this is very interesting. Um, so pretty much, I highly doubt it, but I think if they, if if Ray managed to get out with Emma intact, like he was just like they'll she'd be like a baby as soon as she comes out when she kind of enters the like our world, 
which would be very I uh, don't oh no. Which I don't think will happen. I think probably if that will happen, if that was gonna happen, I think um, Ray would like be holding Amber like a full size body, and that sort of thing. I think he's still. I think they're still having illusions, quite frankly. And but um, yeah, Emma's like now a little baby all of a sudden, and Ray's looking after her. So yeah, man, I, I was just thinking to myself before while I was reading this chapter earlier, like. I wish I read this Promised Neverland earlier, man. Like, I remember a couple of years, or two, about two, one year ago, I was like thinking to myself, right, um, oh, that's something I should get into. That sounds cool. Never did. Wait until the anime comes out. And yeah, it's almost, apparently it's going to be almost ending, unfortunately. So, <laughs> which is, that pretty much sucks. But yeah. Um, I wish I really, really, really should got into it earlier. Um, yeah, really good chapter. I'm really enjoying it so far. I was interested to see where things go with Don the Gilda and that. And I'll be bringing you Dr. Stone in a little while. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, that'll be it today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I love you all. See you next time. Peace.